My name is Dorea Wilson, and I am the Director of Youth for the Community Communications Corporation. After 50 years of conducting workshops and broadcasting, the Community Communications Corporation is partnering with producers and professionals who use all forms of mass media to attend to the needs of today's society. Now, these CCC workshops will incorporate programs that help exercise children's skills, skills such as critical thinking, creative development, professionalism, communication, and learning. So for any additional information, visit our website at www.cccmediatv1.org. You can have access to us 24 hours a day, seven days a week by contacting us at 302-287-4413. And also please feel free to email us at cccmediatv at yahoo.com. You can also follow our YouTube channel searching CCC Media TV one and we also have a Twitter account searching CCC Media TV two If you want a good job, there's a very simple rule. You gotta get an education, gotta go to school. You gotta get it all together if you wanna make it pay. You gotta stay in school. Just like the way you say, go beach, cool, stay in school, beach, cool, stay in school. If you wanna be cool, stay in school. Did you know if your child misses two days of school a month, they'll have missed one month of instruction by the end of the school year? If they miss 15 days of school every year, they will have lost one year of instruction by the end of grade 12. But we can change this. Students who attend school regularly are more engaged in learning and are more likely to graduate. Everybody in school, every day. Man, I'm so happy high school over with, bro. Man, what you saying, man? It's been waiting on that day for all my life, really, bro. Yeah. For real. Bro. Ready to move on to this next chapter in life, man. Get on with it. You said you're going to Vincennes, didn't you? Yeah, you know, I'm balling up there, oh, bro. So sad. You there too, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Bro. Cool. Your commission speech, that graduation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Chain, appreciate it. Man. You know, they had like two or three days to prepare for that, man. They asked me like the third day before school ended, man. Speaking of graduation, it, uh, you see Justin in there? Bro. I ain't even see him, but they said, well, there's a rumor going around, bro. He ain't even graduate, bro. Oh, don't tell me that, man. Not just I wouldn't lie to you, bro. I wouldn't lie to you. He did tell me he had a little nice little job opportunity coming up, man. I wonder how that's working bro. out for him. Justin, job. No, nah, man, you never know, man. He might have got himself right, man. Bro, I don't know about that. You speaking to anybody? I ain't speaking to anybody. Did you wear any food or something? Thank you for ordering Bucky's chicken. Uh, here's your two-piece. Justin, what's up, man? What's up? What's oh, up? Don't tell me it's a job you tell me about earlier, bro. Man, no, man. This is just a little something, you know. You know, I mean, I got a lot of jobs, bro. You got bro. your crazy little duck hat on there, thing, nah, man. Nah, this, this is just a, you know. Bro, but you at graduation today, man? This ain't apartment twenty-three, bro. No, bro, it's from a twenty, bro. What is you doing, man? Buck, that's man, man. Yeah, man. What's up? So what's going on, man? What you doing out here? Man, that's just a little, man, I got a lot of jobs. Man, you ain't asked my question while I go, bro. Where was you at during graduation? Bro, I was, I was, uh, y'all ain't see me? See you? I was, Trust, you probably wasn't even there. No, we didn't see you. Uh, <laughs> man, uh. Don't tell me you didn't graduate, bro. I ain't graduate, bro. You know I me. Mean? I ain't graduate, but you know, but ain't no thank you. I'm saying I'm getting this money. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm, I'm getting this money. What are you doing? I'm, I'm getting this money. Put this hat, bro. Yeah, let's take the hat off, bro. Good God.
<laughs> man, I wanted to wear the hat anyway, bro. That's, that's swag, bro. Man, enough about you. Not about me, man. What's up, child? I heard that on the school, man. Uh, you, well, you know me, man. Me, man. <laughs> hey. Man, oh, God, you, got, got, you know he got the ball, so a little scholarship and that thing. I got my little academic scholarship, man. We on our thing out here. No, we got kick it. Yeah, man. Y'all gonna clown me, but I gotta go make these deliveries, man. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Let y'all do y'all thing. Can't stand talk with us for a little bit longer, man. Nah, man. Hey, my other job telling you about, bro. All kind of money. I'm finna get me a new whip. You know what I'm saying? I pull up on your school right, boys sometimes. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all, y'all be easy, man. Do your do your thing on that court, man. You feel what I'm saying? Dang, man, you got chicken on your hands. Man, you got fried, man. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get a shower. Hey, y'all want some chicken or something? No, man. Cool. Yo, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do your thing, man. You you heard me, yeah. Take that up to apartment 23, the right one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you're trying man. to clown me. <laughs> you, you, hey, y'all be easy, man. All right, stay up, bro. bro. Man. Oh, my goodness. He ain't going to make it, bro. Bro, I don't think so either. Uh, there's the two wings you ordered. Um, two five, wings. Five uh, ninety nine. Uh, that's your total. Um, yeah, the two wings. Yeah, 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 that's that's not what I ordered. No, it's the two wings right there. No, I had two wings for me. I had four wings for my roommate, and no. I don't see my hot sauce in there. There's no napkins. This is twenty two, right? Yeah, yeah, this is apartment 22, but well, this, that's the this, food. Is, this is not my food, and you can have that, that back. That's the food? What that's you, it's not sir, my food. Sir, you give me the money? I, I can't. No, I'm not paying for that, because it's not my food. Sir, it's not my food. What? Not my food. Sorry. Have a nice day. See you later. But hey, bro, what happened with that internship earlier? Oh, uh, yeah, I went at the interview, man. They said you gonna come back the next day. I'll call me back and figure out. Cut us. Hey, take this book bag off, man. I don't want to hear no questions, bro. Hey, I ain't playing with you, man. Quit asking questions, man. What's up, man? Give me the book bag. Take the book. Hey, bro, it's my chicken, bro. What's the chicken kind of for me? Justin. Justin, what, what is you doing, man? What's up? Out of show? Ah. What is you doing, I'm bro? Just, I'm just playing. I ain't robbing y'all. Oh, you was not playing, Y'all thought I was bro. playing. Y'all know me be bro. joking and stuff, Back with man. the job, man. I ain't got no job, bro. man. Why well, you should have stayed in school, bro, man. Got your education, man. Can't even mess with you, man. You out here robbing people, man. Cool off Stupid, you, man. man. For real, man. It's like hey, man, stay bro. up, though, bro. It's stay like up, that. Man. Do something. Oh, it's like that. Y'all better than me? It's like that. It's like that, man? Yeah. Hey, come on, bro. Huh? Ah, uh, y'all better than me, huh? Hey, I'm Victoria Justice and I'm in Guatemala with Girl Up. Education is important to me because it makes a huge difference in a girl's future. But in many countries, more than half of girls drop out before the sixth grade. 
For these girls, going to school could be more than just an opportunity to be educated. It can mean avoiding long work hours, staying healthy, and the possibility of getting a job that otherwise would not be possible. So join me and dedicate your Facebook status to girls in developing countries who do not have the chance to go to school. Go to girlup.org to learn more. This is our back to school wish for all you kids. Hey, hey. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Oh, oh. Don't know much about the French I took, but I do know that I love you, and I do know if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be, what a wonderful world this would be. Thank you. There it is. You're the man. <laughs> hey, have fun at school. Be smart. See you when we see ya. Stay in school. Get the grades. Ja'Core Porter is like many other American teenagers. He has a passion for skateboarding, but he's taken his love for the sport to new heights and into the classroom. Jacor is putting the final touches on a movie about his life and his enthusiasm for skateboarding. It's a project he produced at the Richard Wright School for Journalism and Media Arts. I like to write because it's like fun and it expresses myself as my feelings and stuff. That's why I came to the school, journalism and media arts. Like I want to do something different because my old school, they taught me how to write, but they didn't teach me how to really get into it as in like expressing my feelings. Jacor is one of 130 mostly African-American students who attend this unique public school. It's the only high school in Washington that primarily focuses on preparing students for careers in the media as reporters, producers, photographers, and video editors. Well, when I came here, I found something that I could do. It's like a trade for me to work with my hands and hands-on stuff. Everybody say good. Good. Better. 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 Best. Better. Don't you ever let it rest. Marco Clark opened the school in a low-income Washington neighborhood last year. His mission is to get students out of poor performing schools where they're falling behind and likely to drop out. Why keep a kid in a school that's not functioning or a school that's not giving a child what they would desire to learn and keep them there? We force them to be in a place and then we criticize them when they don't do well. Clark uses his own life experiences to teach students about overcoming obstacles. At 11, a school counselor told Clark he was functionally illiterate. Now, 30 years later, he earned several advanced degrees and is an educator himself. Clark says he's not giving up on these kids. You take whatever challenges they have and you turn it into a positive stone. And that positive stone says that you can do it. Let's figure out where you are. Let's create a dream for you and let's, and let's help you uh, continue to uh, achieve your aspirations. Education researchers say minority students are often pushed towards courses that won't prepare them for college or even work. But that's not the case here where the priority is making sure these students are college ready. So you need to take approximately 18 hours each semester if you want to graduate what? On time. Teacher Marco Brooks says these ninth graders need to know now what it takes to be successful at a university. The problem that I've had over the years is that students will come to me not prepared, not ready for what they've been challenged to do. In order to obtain scholarships, I believe that you should already be introduced and prepared for to be in the running. Jacor is back on his skateboard after a 12-hour school day, plotting more paths to a good education and a rewarding career. A great friend of mine, before he passed, he told me, the streets will never let you down. He was not lying. Like, it's not really the way to go. My dream was to become a pilot in the United States Air Force. I went from actually, you know, participating in school activities to 
not going to school at all. I just dropped out, started running the streets, been with the wrong crowd, smoking, drinking, fighting. I was living in the house with my stepfather for a while and like he used to like do stuff to me. I really didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go to school no more. And I ran the streets. I was that person that your parents are like, oh, you'll stay away from them, they're trouble. I feel like nobody around 